Hello people, welcome back. The question is from GATE 2020 exam. It's for two marks. They are saying if values in these three registers are saved in IEEE single precision format and also these two values are saved in R1 and R2. R3 is equal to R1 by R2. What is the value saved in R3? Okay, we need to define which of these four will be this number divided by this number. First of all, let's see what is actually saved in R1. So the hexadecimal representation is 4, 2, 2 and all zeros. 4 will be 0, 1, 0, 0. 2 is 0, 0, 1, 0. Again 2, 0, 0, 1, 0. And then you have all zeros. Okay. Let us try to see what is the actual number saved by saving these bits? First bit is of sign. Okay. So this is a positive number because sign bit is 0. Then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. All of these bits are exponent. And these are the Mantisa bits. Okay. Now what is exponent? It is 128 plus 4 which is equal to 132 okay this is the biased exponent now while saving this number surely 127 would have been added as a bias so let's retrieve the actual exponent by subtracting 127 this comes out to be 5 okay so this number will be 1 positive 1 point mantisa mantisa is 0 1 into 2 raised to the power actual exponent. So 2 raised to the power 5. Okay. Now let us re uh, resolve this 2 raised to the power 5. 2 raised to the power 5 can be resolved by shifting this red x point to the right side by 5 bits. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. So move this red x point here. This number comes out to be 101000. Okay. So it will be 20 into 2. So this number is actually 40. Okay. That means R1 is containing a value 40, which is represented in single precision as this. Okay. Now let us see what is the value saved in R2. R2 contains C12 and all zeros. So C is 12. That means 1100. Zero, zero. 1 is 0001. Zero, zero, one. 2 is 0010. Zero, zero. And then all zeros. Okay. Now, first bit is 1. That means it is some negative number. Okay. So sign bit is 1. It is some negative number. Then next 8 bits means 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Means till here. Okay. So this is 128 plus 2. That is 130. So biased exponent is 130. Unbiased exponent will be 130 minus 127. Which is 3. Okay. So the number will be. 1.01 into 2 raised to the power 3. So just solve this 2 raised to the power 3 by shifting this decimal to right side by 3 bits. So it will just come here which is 1010. Okay. And this represents a minus. Okay. So this number will be actually minus 10. Okay. So this is minus 10. And now we are dividing value of R1 by value of R2. 40 upon minus 10 is minus 4. Okay. This minus 4 is saved in R3. Now let us see how is minus 4 represented in single precision IEEE format. 
स्टेप वन कन्वर्ट द डेसिमल नंबर इन टू बाइनरी सो फोर कैन बी कन्वर्टेड इन टू बाइनरी लाइक दिस ओके वन डबल जीरो पॉइंट जीरो स्टेप टू इज जस्ट नॉर्मलाइज दिस नंबर ओके इम्प्लीसिट नॉर्मलाइजेशन इज यूज दैट मीन्स वी वॉन्ट द रेड एक्स पॉइंट हेयर वी हैव टू शिफ्ट इट टू द लेफ्ट बाय टू बिट्स ओके सो इट विल बी वन पॉइंट जीरो एंड बिकॉज बाय शिफ्टिंग द डेसिमल पॉइंट टू लेफ्ट वी आर एक्चुअली डिवाइडिंग द नंबर now we have to multiply this number to compensate this left uh, shifting the red x point to the left okay so it is multiplied by 2 raised to the power 2 actual exponent is 2 what will be the biased exponent it is 2 plus 127 which is 129 okay so biased exponent is 129 Now let's just see what will be the thirty-two bit pattern. See, we want to represent a negative value, so write a one here. Sign bit is one. Now we want to save one twenty-nine. One twenty-nine is one twenty-eight plus one. Okay, so the first bit will be high for one twenty-eight. Rest all of the bits will be low except for the last bit. So one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. Okay, this will be one twenty nine. And multiply zero. So these are all zeros. Thirty, sorry, twenty three zeros. Okay. Now we want to find its hexadecimal notation. For that, let's make groups of four. You can start from any side because thirty two is divisible by four. Okay. So. It will be C zero eight zero 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 one two three four five yeah C zero eight followed by five zeros. Okay, so how do I know we'll be having five zeros here? Because thirty two bit number when converted to hexadecimal notation will have eight digits. Okay, we already have three. so we are remaining with five more digits and all of these digits will be zeros see these are 23 zeros three are already taken so we we'll, we are left with 20 bits okay so 20 bits will just translate to five zeros in hexadecimal so your answer is option a c08 followed by zeros this is the correct answer okay